News 11 begins with breaking news. Hello, everybody. I'm Adam Clapp with News 11. We do interrupt your regular scheduled programming with some breaking news. Gila Ridge High School remains on lockdown this morning after Yuma Police and the Yuma Union High School District confirmed there was a shooting in the parking lot of the school. News 11 Samantha Bird is there live right now joining us from the scene of the shooting. Samantha, what else can you share with us at this time? Good morning. I'm live at Gila Ridge High School where there were shots fired outside of the school this morning. Right now the campus is all clear, but they are looking for a suspect in the nearby neighborhood. All schools in the area are still on lockdown just to keep that safety for the students. Nobody was shot as of right now. Nobody was shot and Right now, the suspect is in the nearby neighborhood. The um, authorities are looking for that suspect. Um, I believe no, nobody was shot, and we are waiting for more information from the Yuma Police Department. Um, parents are staying updated as they are waiting on the other side of campus to see when their students will be released from school. As of now, they're trying to figure out a way for the students to be released to their parents on lockdown, which is a tricky situation for the high school district. So they are updating parents about every 15 minutes just to tell them the latest on the situation. We'll keep updating you once we get more information. But for now, Reporting live at Gila Ridge High School, I'm Samantha Bird, News 11. Back to you, Adam. Samantha, thanks again. Schools in the area still on lockdown. Police have not released the identity of the suspect. And again, at least two people were injured, but they were not shot. We're being told they are safe and with their parents. Thanks for joining us for this breaking news update. I'm Adam Clapp. You can find the latest details on this story on our website, KYMA.com and social media pages. We'll also have the latest information in tonight's newscast. We'll take you now back to your regularly scheduled programming.